solve and graph each solution set. We have the compound inequality 3x minus 2 is less than 7 or x minus 2 is greater than 4. To solve this, we will solve each of these parts separately. Over here, we add 2 to both sides and we get 3x is less than 9. And we divide both sides by 3 and we get x is less than 3. Or, adding 2 to both sides here, we have x is greater than 6. So we're looking at the disjunction x is less than 3 or x is greater than 6. In order to see what this set looks like, let's look at a number line. And the first number line, we will graph the set x is less than 3. So we mark off a 3, and we shade in the set x is less than 3. On the second number line, we look at the set x is greater than 6. And there's a 3, there's a 6. We're looking at this set here. So the set x is less than 3 or x is greater than 6 means that one of these has to be true, but not necessarily both of them. That means that we're looking at the union of the sets. So we're looking at numbers less than 3 or greater than 6. And this would be the graph of this. It's helpful to do the graph first so that we can see if things overlap or not. And we would have basically two separate intervals as the solution set. So we can write that using set builder notation as the set of all x such that x is less than 3 or x is greater than 6. Or we can write that with intervals as the union of the interval from negative infinity to 3 and the interval from 6 to infinity.